So WBC President Mauricio Suleiman says he's exploring ways to try and avoid controversy in the Alexander Usyk Tyson Fury fight. And those ways would be having five or six judges rather than just three and having a video assistant referee. For this particular fight, Usyk Fury, could Mauricio Suleiman's proposals actually be useful? Because Alexander Usyk was involved in a controversial incident in his last fight against Daniel Dubois. He went down from a punch which some people thought was legal and other people thought was illegal. Daniel Dubois appealed the referee's decision because the referee decided it was illegal and he ultimately lost that appeal. Now I went through the rules with a fine tooth comb and the reality is that punches on the borderline, on the waistband, are at the referee's discretion. Some referees allow punches there and some referees don't. The only way Daniel Dubois was gonna win his appeal is if he could prove that the referee that night before the fight said that punches on the waistband would be okay and then contradicted himself during the fight. That would have won him his appeal. But if you can't prove that, if the referee didn't say that, then you don't have a leg to stand on. Again, it's at the referee's discretion. Some are okay with punches on the waistband and some are not. And incidentally, the initial point of contact for that punch Daniel Dubois landed on Alexander Usyk was below the waistband, in the bladder area, which is why, as far as I'm concerned, it's a low blow. But of course, in the moment, a referee can miss that. To him, it might just look like a punch on the waistband. Anyway, incidents like that could potentially be avoided with a video assistant referee. But how would it work? How would you implement that? Would the VAR overturn the in-the-ring referee's decisions as they happen? Would we have to pause after a controversial knockdown for 30 seconds while they review the tape? Or will they at least wait until the end of the round? If they wait until the end of the round, that still wouldn't solve what happened in the Usyk Dubois fight because Usyk was given several minutes to recover. If VAR only kicks in in between rounds, then a fighter like Daniel Dubois will still have missed his opportunity to follow up and finish his opponent because the referee initially called it a low blow. He might get that extra point on the scorecards when they review it in between rounds, but he won't get that opportunity to take advantage to capitalize on a legitimate knockdown that wasn't called. And perhaps there's instances where a legitimate knockdown that wasn't called, where the guy stays on the ground for a couple of minutes, could have actually been a knockout win if the referee had called it a knockdown. Perhaps that would have been the case with Usyk Dubois. Alexander Usyk, it would seem, is vulnerable to body shots. So right there, you've got a case for VAR. I'm not saying I agree with it. I'm not saying I want it. I'm just saying you can make a case on those grounds for this particular fight. There's also the fact that Tyson Fury can be a bit rough in fights. He's not the dirtiest fighter in the world. Don't get it twisted. Vladimir Klitschko was a far dirtier fighter than Tyson Fury. Way dirtier than Fury. It's not even close. As heavyweights go, Tyson Fury's not that dirty. But there have been a few fights in the past where he's been a little rough. He's bent the rules slightly. The best example, of course, would be the Steve Cunningham fight. He was leaning on Cunningham a lot, and he did hold and hit for the knockout punch. That's illegal. And I've always figured that Tyson Fury would have to fight a similar fight to the one he fought against Steve Cunningham in order to beat Alexander Usyk. It'd have to be rough. It'd have to bend the rules. And of course, Usyk's team would want the referee to keep a very close eye on Tyson Fury to make sure he doesn't do that. So that's also something that you could use to make a case for VAR. Maybe there are fouls that don't get picked up by the referee in real time in the ring. Maybe there are knockdowns that get called as knockdowns by the ref in the ring, which upon review were not actually knockdowns. Maybe the guy went down because he was shoved or tripped over a foot. This fight at the end of the day is for all the marbles. The biggest fight in boxing. So we don't want any controversy. We want a nice, clean result. And hopefully, no rematch. That's the ideal scenario for me anyway. The winner moves on to face his mandatories and what have you. Now, if you think VAR is a bad idea for this fight or for boxing in general, that's cool. Explain in the comment section below why you feel that way because I don't have a strong view one way or the other. So maybe you can sway me with your comment. Whatever the case may be, let me know what you think below.